Are you voting in your council election? Of course. Everyone should vote for their favourite failed politician or disgruntled ratepayer or total loony. I want to do a good job because um, I like it when people think I do a good job. Yes, local government elections are always pretty colourful, but even I didn't expect to see this amount of bonkers <laughs> in the Netherlands council race. Netherlands Mayor Fiona Argyle is clutching her mayoral chains tighter than her constituents clutch their pearls when the cost of caviar goes up at the boat shed. And maybe it was the thought of relinquishing those chains that made her have a brain explosion on social media recently. She took to Instagram to have a crack at people complaining about her election signage and social media posts. In the caption, Argyle called out the dinosaurs, which anyone who's been following this race would assume was a reference to her mayoral challengers, Ben Hodston, and the ironically named Noel Youngman. Let's be honest, these guys ain't getting any younger. But a quick look at the City of Nedlands website reveals there aren't many spring chickens amongst them anyway. Call me old. They weren't thrilled. About being called dinosaurs? No, they weren't. But what Hodston and Youngman really didn't like was the hashtags. One in particular stands out, hashtag you will die. What the f***? Argyle admitted she should have added more context to the post. How much more context do you need? Hard to say. Oh my God, I'm going to die next Monday? Yes. No, wait, Monday? That would be seven business days. This is seven days starting now. But she reckons it was an attempt to draw attention to climate change. Right. Yeah, nothing like a bizarre hashtag to get someone's attention. And she's since deleted the post. Now Argyle has got our attention, it's worth remembering she started as Nedlands Mayor in 2021 by promising to run the council like a business. I want to run this town like a business. Someone really should have asked her what kind of business, because it turns out it was a pretty shitty one. That, that hurt my feelings. In 2022, Argyle was accused of acting inappropriately towards a fellow councillor over a planning decision in which she had a conflict of interest. Later that same year, Lands Minister John Kerry called Nedlands Council the worst of local government after a series of planning stouches. And then this week, you had a councillor quit her term two years early who fired a parting shot about staff abuse. Now, we all know what happened to the dinosaurs. But if you're a councillor for the City of Nedlands, maybe extinction by asteroid is actually a better option. It'd take more than an asteroid to get rid of Donald Trump. Yeah, he's like a cockroach. Doesn't matter what you do, you can't get rid of him. But a judge in New York this week might make Trump's life a lot harder. Justice Arthur Engeron found Trump liable for fraud for illegally inflating the value of his assets and net worth. Trump bragging about stuff? I don't believe it. Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump. Hopefully your favourite president of all time, better than Lincoln. Engeron also ordered the cancellation of business certificates for the Trump Organisation, which effectively puts him out of business in the state of New York. While there's still some legal manoeuvring to come here, the judge is set to appoint a receiver to start breaking up the Trump empire. So it's very likely we'll see a fire sale. <laughs> But exactly what is on the chopping block remains to be seen. Trump Tower, the golden embodiment of Donald's massive ego, might go under the hammer. His golf courses and resorts could go too. And wait for it, he might even be forced to give up his beloved Mar-a-Lago. And what a bargain that would be for someone. 58 bedrooms, 33 bathrooms, and only a few of them filled with boxes of classified documents. <laughs> it's hard to find a blank space at Mar-a-Lago. A Taylor Swift gag, and I'm here for it. And so is NFL star Travis Kelsey. The Super Bowl winning tight end from the Kansas City Chiefs has made no secret of being a Swifty after seeing the singer on her latest tour. If you're up on uh, Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Well, the multi-Grammy winning pop star returned the favour this week by showing up to Kelsey's game against the Chicago Bears. And it broke the internet. Travis Kelsey's had a lot of big catches in his career. <laughs> this would be the biggest. T-Swizzle watched the game with Kelsey's family, which is ridiculously cute. And then the pair left the stadium together. Hey, hey, how you doing? Going? Yes, it's all very sweet. But make no mistake, it's also big business. Because Taylor Swift is a legit phenomenon right now. Fox says the game was the highest rating NFL telecast of the week. Everyone just wanted to see Tay-Tay. Yeah, well they heard on the internet that she was on the telecast and they tuned in, particularly the 12 to 49 female demographics. <laughs> no surprise there. And sales of Travis Kelsey jerseys are now up 400%. So are they really an item? It's hard to say. This looks a lot like famous people having a laugh. What's real is that um, 
you know, it is my personal life. And um, I want to respect both of our lives. I think me talking about sports and saying all right now will have to be uh, kind of where I keep it. But one thing's for sure, though, it's a lot more appealing than some other unlikely pairings I've seen this week. I'm Ben O'Shea. For more Up Late, click the subscribe button below.